Hi guys, it's Tiger. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded Jojo Run. Let's check out the Queen of Sauce this morning, even though I don't know if it really if it's really going to matter or not. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, omelet. This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelet is a thing of beauty. It is a pure golden angel of gleaming egg, and I'm going to show you my secret method. You've learned how to cook omelet. Yay! My copper watering can is ready today. Today is the last day of spring, so if we have anything, I need to make sure I grab it. And I believe that is all. I'm going to go and grab you and grab you. And we're going to grab this stuff. You heard my dog in the background. I'm so sorry. Uh, we'll keep this, I think. Yeah, we'll keep that. So my copper watering can is ready. I'm going to go grab that. And I'm going to put my pickaxe in. That's what I'm going to do. But let's see. Let's go see what the traveling merchant has. Let's just go check it out. And do you have anything that I could use today? Which I don't really need anything considering I'm not doing the community center. I was just checking. Aw, Peaky. Okay, it is Yuri's birthday and Lavril's birthday. Okay, let's see. Okay. This is a good opportunity here. Let's see here. Yuri and Lavril. Okay. Loved gift daffodil. I should have a daffodil. So I'm good there. Lavril, on the other hand, may be a little bit harder. Ruby. I don't have any gold star cherries. So, Ruby. Let's go see. Gold Star Daffodil and a Ruby. Let's see what we could do. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of fishing today, so I think I'm going to actually drop this off. Yeah. So, Gold Star Daffodil. Awesome. Oh, Ruby, I only have one, but it's going for Laveral. Hopefully I can find her today is the thing. Oh, my barn is ready. Yay. Awesome. Not gonna buy any animals just yet, but it's ready for the next phase at least. So let's check you out. Uh, no, because I'm not going... In the mines today because I'm fixing to bring you my pickaxe, Clint. So not going to happen. We're going to fish the day away. Hi, Clint. Copper watering can. Thank you. You've received a copper watering can. Thank you, sir. And now I'm on a copper pickaxe. Thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Thank you. I'm going to run up here and see if I can find Yuri and Lavril. Because that would be great. Normally it doesn't show both birthdays like that. You normally have to open up the calendar and you'll like see it flashing. So I like that. Hi Ducky. I don't have grapes, but the Emperor looks pleased. Yay. Nope. Wrong house. Which I should go in there too, but... Nala! Nala is looking at you longingly. She looks like she wants a treat. Oh, I'm sorry I can't give you a treat, pup. I wish I could. Yuri loved her gift. She's been smiling all day. Oh, that's great, dude. Thanks a lot. This is great. Oh, you're welcome. I don't want that in my hand. I want to talk to her first. Sometimes I walk down to Marnie's ranch, collect some wood for the for from the forest as samples to show my clients. Well, that's a good thing. Would you like a birthday present? You got this for me? This is wonderful. Thank you. And we are at four hearts with Yuri. You're very welcome, Yuri. Ah, uh, puppy. 
Puppy? Puppy? Hello? Thank you, Nala. I didn't want to push you out the way, but I couldn't get out. I do want to try to find Sterling, but Sterling's probably in Pierre, so it's okay. Let me go ahead and grab all the fruits. Because, yes, please. I love this area over here. Always have at least some type of fruit growing, which is awesome. Definitely helps in the beginning of the game when you don't have fruit trees and stuff like that. But I need to go in here. Are you home, sweet girl? Uh, oh, yes, there you are. Oh, man, you're still in there. Lavril okay. I had a feeling you would bring me something wonderful. This is fantastic. Yay, we're three hearts with Lavril. I don't know if that's going to entail anything. Let's just see. Okay, no, nothing there. You know what, little dude? Come on. It's not very fast, but it works. If you know what you're doing anyway, it works. Mm, let me... Nope, not you. I don't know if I can give Sterling anything else. But I'm at least going to try. Actually, no. Put you there. Put you there. Put you and you up there. Because we are going fishing, so I'm going to swap these out. There we go. And I can also give Juliet a cherry, which will be fine. But... Sterling should be at Pierre's. Now check. You know what? I don't think Juliet's going to be working. I remember her saying something about not having to work when it rains. But I will double check. Okay, she is not here. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm, say, I'm working on getting money for you. So you should be in here. Hi. Oh, hey, hot stuff. You're on your way to the mine? Um, I'm not, but you should take this. I found one the other day, and they're strangely delicious. Thank you? Oh, man, I love these. Nothing like your field snacks, farmer. We are at level four. What do you mean I shouldn't just eat strange stuff I find? Well, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't... No, we're not buying anything. No, 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 no. Today's the last day of spring. I can't buy anything. That would, would be a waste of money altogether. I want I want to be in the mines, but oof. It's just too much of a hassle. Ah, oh, hi, Juliet. Hey, farmer person. I see you're enjoying your day of rest. Yeah, I know. No rest for the wicked, right? Yeah, right. Okay, would you like a cherry? Hey, this is great. Wait, did you want something? No. Hey, Jesse, do you like this? Thank you. I shall cherish it. You're welcome, Jesse. Are you taking some time to relax this weekend, Tiger? Sometimes it's good to slow down. I know. That's why I'm just going to go fishing. We'll be fine. Tiger will be fine. She's just going to go fishing. And since it's raining, I'm going to go fish in the river. And we're going to fish. I will probably just pop you in like this every now and then whenever I catch a fish like I've been doing because that way the video is a little bit shorter and we can maybe possibly get another day in as well. I swear these small mouth bass are loving me today. Okay, that's more like it. Catfish, that's definitely more like it. You guys are not making me any money at all. That's the first one that wasn't a perfect.
I'm liking the catfish coming in. A perfect catfish? Are you kidding me right now? That's awesome. The only fish I've even lost was a catfish right before this one. I cannot believe I just got a perfect catfish. And with that, we are going to call it everything on the top row of my inventory is what I call today minus one green algae that I ate to give me like two extra throws and that was it. So we got, oh, I'm going down the wrong path, my bad. We got one shad, seven iridium smallmouth bass, six gold star catfish, nine iridium shad, one gold star smallmouth bass, two iridium brim and one iridium catfish yes please also i see all my goodies over here done so i'm going to grab the kale and we're gonna say nope don't want to eat it i want to make stuff i'm gonna put the kale in there I'm gonna grab you and you do i have any no i don't have enough okay that's fine there we go we're going to throw that back in there, that in there. No, not you, because you're being sold. That in there. And then you can all go in there. I'm going to put that in there, too. Let's go sell these two things. And let's go to bed and see how much money we made. Oh, the puppy was in the bed. I'm so sorry. We leveled up our fishing. Level 7 fishing. Plus one fishing rod proficiency, new crafting recipe, cork bobber, new crafting recipe, treasure hunter. All right. So we got 1,120 just from two pickled kale and two strawberry jellies at 290 a piece. Oof, those are nice. And we got 5,404 with the fish. The iridium quality catfish was five hundred gold imagine once i hit level 10 and get the extra bonus for the price of the fish going up oh boy dang 2250 for six gold star catfish too so yeah we're, we're doing pretty good we got 6524 in total and today is the first day of summer yay we have our copper watering can no, nope, we do not have any sprinklers yet, but that is okay. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get the pickaxe upgraded so that we can get some stuff done. But we're going to head out. Oh, it's Jesse's birthday. Let's see what we have here. Hey, Tiger. Sorry if this is rather random. I've been seeing Mia write letters with the kids, and I thought it might be fun trying it out. So here we are. I keep having to erase every two words because it feels like my handwriting is so terrible, so please forgive it. I hope you're doing well at the farm. Be sure to talk to me whenever you go to Pierre's, as you're always the highlight of my day. As a thank you, I wanted to write you a recipe for this fruit parfait I used to make when I was younger. No cranberries, though. Be sure to think of me while you enjoy it. Sterling, aw, berry parfait, how cute! Dear Tiger, I thought it would be nice to spend some time together. How about you visit me when you have time and we'll drink some tea and talk a bit. Yiri, uh, yes, please. Dear Resident, In our time in Stardew Valley, Joja has made an effort to become a contributing member of the community. But we can't do it without your help. If you choose to shop at Joja, if you choose to shop at Joja competitors such as Pierre's General Store, you won't have the same assurance of quality and consistency, and without your business, we won't be able to afford to contribute as much as we'd like to local charities. <laughs> Shop at Joja Mart and help earn, help keep your community great. Joja Mart, we value your business. Yeah, yeah, but you don't even know my name. Sure. 
Oh, wrong button. I meant to do that. So we can make one of you. And we can do some more copper bars. So I'll do that. There we go. We're going to just throw all that in there. We're going to give our puppy some water. Oh, I did pet the puppy, even though it doesn't look like I did. Oh, I need my scythe. Let's grab that. Yes, yes. And let's get rid of all of this. And I will figure out how I want everything to look and what all we're going to do. I do need to water these guys, though, which I'm fine with that. I'm going to go on and water them really quickly. So I don't forget whenever I'm doing everything else. And I need my axe for that. Okay. Guess we'll grab the copper and that and the axe. Okay, now we're done. Even there. Grab the axe and get rid of you. Okay. Can I use the axe here? No. Okay. Dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I'm gonna have to, let's see, one, two, three. Leave you open. And then... I'm trying to make it to where I'll be able to put a sprinkler down in the middle once I get sprinklers. Because that's going to be easier on me. Yeah, I think there. I'll just have to remember to not plant in areas that are going to have the sprinklers, if you know what I'm saying. Just going to go on and fill this in really quick because I can kind of sort of figure out where they're going to go. But without my pickaxe, I can't remove any of those things. So let's see if I have anything Jesse likes while I'm right here. Oh, Eloise is way up there on hearts, and I love it. Is there anything? Do I have anything Jesse loves? Is what I meant, not likes. Chantrelle. Ooh, I don't think I have a chantrelle, and I know I don't have any of the others, but cherry and salmon berry is probably going to have to do. Sorry about that. But let's go. Let's go shop for some seeds, I think. Now, I do know there is one seed that is cheaper at Joja than there is anywhere else. I'm going to accept that just in case. I really admire people like you chasing after their dreams with clear goals in mind. Me? I don't know, man. Trying not to screw myself from an overdose, I guess. I've been cold turkey since I moved to the valley, so I guess I'm not doing too bad for myself in that regard. Well, that's great. Alcohol poisoning's definitely gonna take me first at this rate. But I'm pretty sure that's supposed to mean rate. That's supposed to say rate, not rat, but okay. Sterling, please don't. Can I make... Yeah. I think this is probably the last one I can give you. Mmm, nothing like a good field snack to get me through the day. Thanks, farmer. You're welcome, dude. So let's go eight a piece for now. I know I don't need everything, but it's okay. Let's go 16 of those. And I like pepper poppers, so we're going to go 16 of those. Do eight. Do eight of these. Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to make a bee house. Pops are definitely a good thing. We're going to do 12. See, sunflower seeds are 200. I think they're like, I, I'm pretty sure they're cheaper at Pierre. So I'm going to hold off on the sunflower seeds. I mean, at Joja. I'm going to do eight of those. Do I want a couple puppies? Penny's the only one that really likes poppies, so I'm not going to worry about poppies right now. I know I'm probably not going to be able to plant all of this right now. Yeah, let's go to Joja. I think the sunflower seeds are cheaper at Joja. Oh, hello. You're not open yet, huh? 
Ah, the summer has arrived, my favorite season. Why? People love to shop during the summer. The sun puts them in a good mood, and we keep the store nice and cool so they can come in out of the heat. Would you like a gift? This is delightful. I'm really glad you like it. Not really, but okay. I need to make sure I go give Jesse something. I see. Open it, Tim. Yes, I know. Yuri doesn't notice you. She's deep in thought. Well, I was supposed to come and see you today, but okay. Where are you going? Okay. Uh, hi, Juliet. Joe just sucks. Joe just suck. But when there's bills to pay, you gotta do, right? Yep, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, this is great. Wait, did you want something? No, nothing. Just giving you a present. Uh, can I buy from you? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's see. Yes, yeah, sunflower seeds are a hundred. Like, that's crazy. I don't know. They may be cheaper since... I'm going to have to run look. Some things may actually be cheaper since we're with Joja. So I am going to run go look. Let's see. 50, 40, 10, and 40. Let's just run go see. I'm obviously not spending all my money. Probably not even going to be able to plant all of these. Tomatoes 50. Okay, so I guess they're about the same. I didn't see blueberries in there. But the sunflower seeds were a whole hundred gold cheaper. So yeah, we still did good there. So I guess let's go start planting. So I managed to get everything planted and everything watered, which I'm super duper happy about. I do want to go see if I can find Jessie, and I also want to swing by Yuri's to see if she's possibly home to see if there is some kind of cutscene or anything with that letter. I know I'm getting, I'm really short on time right now, but I'm going to do what I can do. Louis, you can't ignore me forever. We need to talk. I'm very, very busy, Yuri. We can talk another time. I have to go. If you want to talk to me, please make an appointment. Louis? But this is important. I said I'm busy. Please, let's just talk later. Louis? Yeah, that looks about right. That looks about right. Are you home? Are you up here? Around and about somewhere? Are you at work? It's your birthday. I hope you're not working. There you are. Hi, Jesse. I do hope you'll enjoy your time living in Pelican Town, Tiger. I hope you enjoy yours too, Jesse. You got this for me? This is wonderful. Thank you. You're very welcome, Jesse. Okay, I want to run to Yuri's just to see. Hi, Demetrius. And Demetrius is deep in thought. Okay, well, you know what? You can have a cherry anyway. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. You're very welcome. It's okay to get moderate amount of sunlight. Just don't get burnt. Okay, Harvey. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. You're very welcome. I gotta go get more cherries. <laughs> Let's go see if Yuri's home. See if there's anything to that letter, because I don't know. I don't think I've ever gone to her house after getting that letter. I've only got it like maybe in one, maybe two other saves, but I don't think I've ever gone to her house after getting that letter. Hi, Ducky. The Emperor looks pleased. Yay. Oh. Well, maybe something does happen. Oh. Maybe not. This doesn't look like a happy occurrence. Hi, Tiger. Give me a second. I just want to finish this letter. Hmm, I need to contact the clients over this. Okay, so are you ready for some tea? Ah, oh, what? What I'm working on? I'm sorry, the details of my work are confidential. But I can tell you roughly about a problem I have with this one. Okay. You know, the work of an architect isn't just drawing aesthetically pleasing buildings. I also need to make sure the buildings I create on paper are functional, safe, and sustainable in reality. 
all while keeping the balance between budget and constraints, environmental factors, and my client's needs. Which means sometimes I have to tell my clients that their plans won't work. People often don't know how many factors I have to account for. Which leads to my problem. Right now, a client's requested a building, a factory to be exact. After much consideration, I came to the conclusion that I can't justify the environmental impact their project would have. It's a large scale project and would pay extremely well, but the location the client chose to build their factory is home to unique flora and fauna. Building it there would destroy the natural balance, not to mention the effects it would have on the wildlife. I sat on this for the last few nights, but there's no way to make it less devastating for the environment. The problem is, I'm not worried about telling them that it's a bad idea. I'm worried that they will just hire someone else who will approve the plans anyway. I think you already know that you can build a structure anywhere you want on your land, right, Tiger? That's because the laws in the Ferngill Republic are kept simple to make it more desirable to build and settle here. If you own the land, you can do nearly everything with it, as long as the community head approves it. And a factory would provide new jobs and boost the economy. So I already know that the project will be greenlit, no matter whether I take it or not. The question is, should I keep the project or not? I don't have money problems, nor am I dependent on this job, so it wouldn't hurt me if I declined the offer, but still. Hey, what do you think? Take it and try to positively influence it. Ugh. Don't take it if you can't morally justify it. Or who cares about the environment anyway? Uh, no, don't take it if you can't morally justify it, because I wouldn't. Even if I needed the money, I wouldn't. Hmm, I think you're right. The money is good, but I don't want to be responsible for the damage it will cause. I know someone with less values will take the job, will take on the job, but at least I won't stoop down to their level. Thank you, Tiger. Oh, you're welcome, Yuri. I'm sorry I took so much out of your day with that. You came here for tea, not business. Why don't I make you some pancakes as an apology? Oh, you don't have to apologize, Yuri, but I'll take pancakes. Thank you. Can I speak to you, though? Yuri seems sad. She doesn't look like she wants to talk about it. Nella is drooling. Probably she's dreaming of food. Yeah, probably. I'm glad we have air conditioning. Charles, that was so random. Thanks a lot. This is great. You're welcome. My computer can heat up a room quite quickly. Yes, 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 I know. I know that feeling very well, so. Oh, hi. Have you dipped your toes in the East Scarp Beach? I find it's a little less crowded than the main one, but certainly as beautiful. Eloise mentioned having seen a mermaid at the tide pools last time I took her. Oh, okay. That puppy's back there sleeping. I'm not going to bother it. I did want to run down really quickly. Okay, Rosa's not out and about. At least not there. Is there anything here? No. Can we go back in here yet? Yes. Thank you. They fixed it so we can go in here. And look at there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful energy gain. Even though I don't really need it because I'm probably going to send her to bed here in a little bit. So that game will save so I can end it. But I wanted to... Whoa. I wanted to pop in and see Lexi because I haven't seen Lexi in a while. Today I am happy. Dolphins come visit to swim and tell tales of a faraway places. Aw, that's so cute. 
I am grateful for your gift. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Lexi. Glad you like it. And I'll just pop back up this way. Good, good. So we have more than one way to get to Lexi now, which is great. I like that. I'm going to uh, run see our girl Lavril here if she is home, because I really don't know. Ooh, orange, orange. Hello, orange. Yay. Orange. Yay. Oh, slime, boo, but orange, yay. Yay, yay, yay. I, I want to see if Laravel's home, and then I want to go down to the beach part and see... Okay, she's not here. And see if there's anything down there. Because I know there's a couple trees down there, but I don't remember what grows on the trees down there. Oh, I see you. Can we go here? No, okay, we could not go there before. <gasps> and a peach, yay! Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's run back up. And I'll check the map when I get out of this area and see where Laverel is. Okay, she's on the bridge coming through. So I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll just give her a cherry. Let's go down this way. Hi, Henry. I've been trying to teach... I have been trying to teach Mia how to fish lately. Weird to think the city folk are so smart, but don't even know how to bait a hook, isn't it? <clears throat> okay. Are you still coming this way? I don't really know. Yay! No. Uh, um, thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. You're welcome, sweet girl. Oh, a tiger? Did you come to play with us? I would love to, but I have to go home and go to bed. But we're at Three Hearts with Lavra, which I think is what we were, but I still want to try to chat with her at least every couple of days so I don't lose anything. Oh, hi, Sterling. Ah, uh, farmer. Out for a late walk. Yeah, I was heading back, to be honest. I actually just finished up at Pierre's for the night. It's good to see a friendly face around. Um, it's kind of late. Isn't it kind of late, or are you going, are you on, or, or are you on your way to the saloon? I'm going to say, isn't it kind of late? Yep, that's Pierre for you. At the very least, I'm getting overtime. But it's also looking like there'll be lo no late night beers for me tonight. But hey, that's a good thing, Sterling. I think, I think that's probably fine. Yes, yes, I think that is. Won't hurt to skip a beer tonight, right? Right. Hey. Yeah? How busy are you tonight? Well, I was literally just fixing to go to bed so I could save. I was actually on my way to do something. I guess I have a minute. What's up? I guess I have a minute. What's up? Wonderful. I'm in dire need of company. For some reason, I think I've recorded this before. I don't know why. Let's run along then. Let me show you what's fun to do on a hot night like this. Oh? And you just walk right through me, but we can't do that in the game. Okay. Hello, are you le- Okay, thank you. I was like, are you going to move? What are we doing here? Oh, last one ends a rotten egg. Okay, then. Ay, ay, ay. The water's amazing, tiger. Okay, sure. Just jump in with your clothes on. Come on. Come on in. I'm going to get sad without someone to join me. Eh. Ah. Uh, she's a little embarrassed, but go for it. That was positively a 10 out of 10 dive. Absolutely spectacular entrance, Tiger. Okay. Oh, the music stopped. I love the water at this time of year. It feels like the world is often bleak. But there's nothing like a good splash of water to bring me back into sharp focus. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, I think they're just splashing each other, even though there's no nothing showing. Is that the best you can do? Yeah, they they're just splashing each other. They're having a good old splash fight. Okay. And with that, I can finally send her home. I did not go fishing to try to catch bass. I will try to remember that in the next episode, but I doubt very seriously it's going to happen. But we will have our copper pickaxe in the next episode, and that is awesome because that is going to help out so much of the mines. And so we're going to pop all this stuff away. And actually, no, I'll sell the mussels. That's fine. And grab these things, pop them away. I'm gonna put the axe in there because I don't really need it right this moment. And we'll sell the couple of mussels that we picked up and we'll go to sleep for the night. We did not really make much money, which I mean, how could we? We didn't. We didn't have anything to sell and I just ran around chit chatting with everybody. But some days that's a good, sometimes that's a good thing to do for a whole day. But that, that is going to be the end of this one. So I want to say thank you all so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in the next one. But until then, bye guys.